And we're very excited, Cheryl, because we have been talking about it for weeks. And today is the day of our 20 days of national wide prayer. And it launches on this program today. Yeah, I hope you've already signed up to participate. If you haven't, you can do it right now at crossroads.ca slash 20 days of prayer. Joining us to fill us in a little bit more about it is our chief executive officer, Lorna Duick. Hey, this is uh, one of the fun things of the job is when you get to be quiet with God and say, uh, what should we be doing as an organization? And I just knew that we should be entering Easter, our, our month that's coming up. We should be entering Easter uh, praying together as a broadcast family. Your, your home there, ours here. We should be doing that. So some big themes coming up here, Lorna. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, we've had to pray about themes as well. So, so tell us some of the things that we're going to try to hit on over the next 20 days. Okay, so first of all, let me just give you a bit more background. So we felt, um, I felt, you know, ourselves as a team. So we've had 20 days privately praying uh, through the, um, the broadcast team with our wonderful little gift where we talk to each other all online as a work team here. There's about 110 of us here that help create all those many things that are part of Crossroads. But we knew we had to pray and, and get our hearts aligned and just freshened and uh, repent and we needed to humble ourselves and we needed to really, uh, as a work team, as a team of media missionaries, just uh, really ask God to be part of, uh, of, our, of our process here as we go public in Canada. But now we want to start with all of us across the nation. You know, this broadcast has been created for decades now, the longest running daily show in Canada, for one purpose, and that is so you know you are in a dynamic, loving relationship with Jesus. And that's the first thing we want to pray about. Well, you know, and I think we need to say, we've been in 20 Days of Prayer ourselves, and we've seen some incredible results. In the, just seven or eight <laughs> days in February, we saw three times the amount of people start a relationship with Jesus, what we're all about, than, than we normally do in, in a week. And we're kind of going, wow, like this prayer thing, it makes a difference. It works. <laughs> it works. Yeah. <laughs> we're learning that here. Okay, so let's bring it home to you. Here is our verse today for what we want to kick off these 20 days of prayer with. And uh, it has been always God's intent since the beginning that he started his story with the human race that he would be in a relationship with you because he wants our lives beautiful. Mm. Like, like he is almighty and all beautiful. This is his intent for our lives is that we be in a living and loving relationship with God. So if, we're, if, if we are postured well, and I loved your interview with John Eldridge, Greg, if we're postured to say, I need you, God. I'm humbled. Mm. I'm, I'm ready to change my behavior. Behavior does matter to God. And, and you define what you want to put there in wicked ways, you'll know. The Holy Spirit will put that in you on where do you need to repent? Where do you need to clean up? But this is our call to you today. Let's just read that scripture together. Greg, do you want to take that for us? It's right there on the screen. And let's, uh, let's go for that. Yeah, well-known scripture. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. Our land is Canada. You know, I've been traveling around a lot lately speaking in churches and there's, there's something stirring in our nation. There's because of some of the, you know, with the moral things and things happening in our nation, Christians are starting to say, it's time to stand up. And I, and I think the timing of this is perfect, Lorna. Mm. Yeah, and you know, uh, you're going to be getting this in your inbox every day if you sign up at that website that we gave you. We'll give it to you again before the end. So make sure that you do that. And we really look at a scripture and a theme. And we're going to pray live on the show. We're going to pray live right now, Lorna. Let me lead us all in that. All right. Father God, thank you that you call us to pause. Mm -hmm. Thank you that all through your story with us in the Bible, there are celebrations, there is coming to you, there is process and pathways for conversation and pleading with you. And we take that right now into this forum that you've given us here in broadcast and we humble ourselves and we say as a nation, God, we need you. God, would you heal the land in our heart, in our homes, in our workplace? 
God, would you heal the land between us and our children, between us and the many races and relationships in our country? God, would you teach us what it is to know that there is no access to you but through the name and the person and the relationship of Jesus Christ. So we humble our hearts and we ask that Jesus would be Lord of our mind, our actions, our attitudes. And we ask that you would heal our land, God. Thank you for the gift of this broadcast family, coast to coast and the technology that makes it possible. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Every day for the next 20 days. A different topic, a different subject, and pray with us for Canada, for your home, for your heart. Wow. You know, we've seen so much happen, Cheryl, as you mentioned, uh, with our staff praying. Now the nation will pray. I'm excited. Absolutely. And if you haven't signed up yet, make sure that you go to crossroads.ca slash 20 days of prayer. Join us every single day and let's see what God will do.